Today I'm going to be making something really, really simple, and this is my cheese omelette. I've got a little bit of mozzarella cheese here, about a quarter cup, four eggs, four tablespoons of regular milk, I'm just using 2% milk here, and two tablespoons of butter. We're also going to need salt and pepper and a little bit of oil for our fry pan. So those are the ingredients, let's get started. Okay, for our first step, I've got a nice large bowl. I've cracked my eggs and we'll get them into the bowl. Grab a whisk, just get them broken down. And we'll whisk those up. Just like that. And then I'll get my four tablespoons of milk in there. And you can use water also. There are a lot of chefs that believe that scrambled eggs should never be made with milk, always with water. But it all depends on what you want. If you want your eggs a little bit more rich, you can use the milk. So what you want to do is you just really want to incorporate a lot of air into your eggs at this point. Okay, that's good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little hot plate set up and we will get into action. Okay, so I put my butter in there, melted it up. I put a tablespoon of olive oil and I just want to get it right around in my pan just like that. That looks great. Get my eggs ready to go and just get those right in there. That's nice. Okay, so what I want to do at this point is I don't want to move the egg around too much, but what I'm doing with my spatula here is I'm putting it down and if I feel any of the egg starting to cook, I can make a little slit in the egg and just gently pull forward, go forward or backward. And what that does is it takes the egg, the liquid egg that's on the top, and sends it down to the bottom. Because if you don't do this, what will happen is you have a lot of egg that sits on the top and it might not completely cook through. So you just go like this and you just give a little pull. You can actually see the egg starting to cook here. So you just put it down, go right down to the bottom and just give a little pull. Just like that. This is my technique. You can do you know, any way that you wish. This just makes it go a little bit quicker. You can also just, if you don't want to do this, if you're not comfortable doing this technique, just keep your heat down much lower and it will just, you know, slowly cook and it will eventually cook through. But I find this is really nice because it just does it nice and evenly and a lot quicker. So you can see I've just pulled, you know, you can pull away, you can actually see part See, there we go. And then you can just kind of get the egg in there. After a while, what's going to happen is that you're not going to have enough egg left. So make sure that you don't do it too much. But you can see that it's looking really good at this point. Right now, it's looking really good. I'm going to grab some pepper and I'll get that in there. Today, I'm only doing a cheese omelet. If you have other things that you'd like to put in there. What I like to do is fry them up, saute them, and then get them in. That looks really good. Then what you can do is you can take your spatula and just kind of go around the side just to loosen it up. And if you do want to, you can just take a little peek. Mine's not ready yet, but it's you can see it's moving around really nicely. I'm just going to increase my heat a little bit. There we go. Okay, so this is maybe another 30 seconds later. I'm going to get my cheese in there. And there are really no, you know, rules on how much cheese. Put in as little, you know, or as, you know, a lot if you wish. Whatever you want, whatever amount. There we go. That's good. And that will melt up really, really nicely. And then what you want to do is you want to check the bottom. Once you see that it's, it's looking nice, you can take it and just flip it right over, just like that. If you wait too long, what's going to happen is you're, you're going to have a big big crack because the outside, the underneath of your omelette will get too hard, you know, it will crisp up and then when you fold it you're going to get a huge crack. So you don't want to wait too long to flip it. There we go. Doesn't that look good? Super super simple. I wish you could smell this. It smells amazing. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to turn my heat right off because there's quite a bit of residual that you know heat that's in there and I'm just going to let that go. So I'm going to let that sit there maybe about a minute and then we'll plate it up. Alright, 
this is about a good minute later. I really wanted it to get really nice and heated, you know, make sure that all the cheese is melted inside. And then we just want to plate it up and just get it right on there. And there we go. Perfect. All right, I've just zoomed in. I'll just give this a little turnaround so that you can see what it looks like. Yum. Really, really nice and fluffy, full of cheese. There we go. Okay, just before I go, I guess I should show you what it looks like inside. So let's just open this up, just like that, and I'll show you how nice that is. Look at the nice cheese. It's nicely melted in there. Really, really fluffy. And I'll just have to try a piece, of course. But look at that. Doesn't that look good? Just, oh, it smells so good. I wish you could be here. Just get that, just like that. Oh, that's really, really good. Yum. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.